question by my good friend, Oakview Films. And Oakview Films writes, related to streaming, but do you prefer shows to have 24 episode seasons with typical budgeted episodes or six to eight episode seasons with higher budgets? Like what we see with shows such as Mandalorian, Stranger Things, and the numerous MCU shows. Now, Oakview, buddy, thank you so much. First of all, like Aaliyah, I want to thank you for your support. You've been with me since day one, buddy, and I do appreciate it. Thank you, Oakview. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for this great question. Um, I don't really have, like, <laughs> unfortunately, Oakview, I don't really have, like, a definitive answer on this. I I'm going to have to kind of do, like, a cop-out almost. And I feel bad, but it's just how I feel. It kind of depends on the show, and it kind of depends on the franchise. Like, for example, I just finished binge-watching all of that all of White Collar. I don't know if you guys have seen White Collar. It was on USA for a while. Right now, I think it's on Hulu. Fantastic show. I, bin I binged the entire series. It's phenomenal. But each season in White Collar is roughly what he's talking about here, like 20 to 24 episodes. They're pretty long, okay? Now, that's just like it's a detective show. It's an FBI crime drama show. So for something like that, you don't need a massive budget. So for White Collar, that 20, 24 episode season, lower budget works for a show like White Collar. Okay. You don't need a Game of Thrones budget for that. Right. So this works for that. However, when it comes to Star Wars, right, when it comes to the MCU, there's a certain level of quality that as fans, we, we come to expect. And there's a lot more special effects involved in something like Star Wars or the MCU. Okay. So for something like Star Wars, like say for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show or for Mandalorian, there's going to be a lot more special effects. So it's going to, it's going to require a bigger budget than, than something like white collar would. So for those kind of shows, for my Star Wars, for my MCU and things like that, that are really special effects heavy, I want to see those smaller seasons, six to eight episodes, bigger budget, better quality special effects. I think it fits those franchises much, much better. I don't, I wouldn't want to see like, you know, a Obi-Wan Kenobi show with 24 episodes and really crappy special effects. Like, I don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? I, I I really don't. I'd much rather have a smaller season and have it be almost like kind of like like an, like a like the movies, right? In in series form. I don't want to see much difference in quality or any difference in quality between the show and the films. Same with the MCU. So like I said in the beginning, it just depends on what we're talking here. If we're talking FBI crime shows, we're talking stuff like that. I don't mind the lower budgets with the with the bigger episode count because I think it fits that kind of show better. But if you're talking Star Wars, like even like what you said here, Stranger Things, um, you know, the MCU, things that are really, really dependent on like a lot of special effects, you you got to go with the, with the shorter episode seasons and the greater and the greater and the the bigger budgets you got to you absolutely have to you know so that's kind of how i feel and i'm sorry oh you i couldn't give you like a definitive answer but for me it really does depend it really does depend on what kind of show it is you know so i mean if you're making a cop show there's no need for that to have a game of thrones budget <laughs> it's pointless you know so you really don't need that you can have 24 episodes and have a lower budget than you could like something like mandalorian so that's where i stand and and honestly i just heard today Oakview that actually um, the Kenobi series actually ended up wrapping filming. So this thing is happening. This is a done deal, my friend. So Kenobi is coming and I am so beyond the moon hype. So like on a side note, that's going to be really dope. I can't wait. To, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for Kenobi. But uh, yeah, that I mean, thank you, Oakview. I really do appreciate the question. And thank you all for watching. This is the part one of this two-day <laughs> Q&A video. And uh, tomorrow, like I said, I will be doing a video with Disney Family Man 23 to answer more questions. So we're going to dive into a lot more tomorrow. But uh, I want to thank everyone who uh, who submitted their questions. And I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said before, if you have a question for a future Q&A or you want to comment on the questions that we talked about today, feel free to do so in the comment section below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.